All right, so for this combo line, this is the Junk Servant combo line. Basically, it requires a level 7 in a way to get into Jet Synchron without normal summoning Jet Synchrons. This is one of the weakest combo lines and one of the most vulnerable combo lines that we have. But basically, if you have a Debel Star, we can use that instead. We special summon Kashtira Unicorn. Instead of running Illegal Knight, I prefer to run the Kashtira package with Unicorn. Also, I think Unicorn is a better card going first than Fenrir. They have to negate this. They have to affect Valor or Imperm or else we're going to get rid of one of their extra deck monsters permanently. Moving on to the combo. Activate Synchro Overtake. And they activate Maxi. Luckily, we do have Ash in our hand. <laughs> and we also have Triple Tactics already. A special summon Jet Synchron, of course. Forgot about that. And right here, see? They activate Maxi. If they don't have any way to negate this, we can activate Unicorn. Get rid of one of their extra deck monsters. It doesn't matter. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Let's just get rid of that. And we can activate Triple T. That's why I love Triple Tactics, man. I, Triple T is just so good in this deck, bro. Activate Triple T. See their hand. Hey, look at that. We can get rid of Raigeki. If they have another hand trap like Ibiru or Imperm that they still have. If ever they didn't negate the Unicorn, we can get rid of it easily. Next, Tinker Summon Jet Synchron and Kashir Unicorn into Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Now, this is why this combo line is one of the weakest and most vulnerable out of all the combo lines. Because right here, if they still have one Imperm or Effect Veiler at this point, and they use that on our Axel Synchro, then... It's over. We can't extend from here. We also activate Jet Synchron. So in this combo line, we also need to act. This is the only combo line that we activate Jet Synchron. We get our Junk Servant. This is why it's called the Junk Servant line. Special Summon Jet Synchron. Normal Summon Junk Servant. So that interaction right there, we have to normal summon our Junk Servant. That's why this line won't work. We have to normal Jet Synchron. Activate Excel Synchron. And from here, it's almost similar to the first combo line. Or the right plus jet combo line. Almost similar, but still quite different because we're not going to be able to use our jet synchron. Activate jet junk speeder. Almost almost called it jet speeder. So we get our four tuners. Activate starter synchron. We synchro summon into crystal wing. Using Revolution and Junk Speeder. Activate Sardos Illumination. It's almost the same line as the first one. Or with the right and Jet. Almost the same. But not being able to special summon Jet Synchron from the graveyard using it its effect. It really hinders our overall well, end board. Same play. Sardos Synchron. Sardos Dragon into Crimson Dragon. We draw a card. To activate Stardust Synchron, get this, tribute that card, activate Trail, and since we can't special summon our Jet Synchron, we're gonna have to use our Revolution Synchron this early. So if we mill a Stardust Synchron already, or right here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really, really hard. <laughs> but it's still possible what we can do here, Excel Synchron. Alright, so at this point, if we did draw or mill the st other Stardust Synchron in our graveyard, we have to give up on our hand drip play, but instead we're gonna go into Stardust Charge Warrior, and then Synchro Summon into Baron de Fleur, activate Crimson Dragon, and then go Bestial Dispatter, and that's your end board right there. If we did draw the Stardust Synchron, it's already bad that we have to commit our normal summon, and it's really bad that we can't activate that Synchron from the graveyard with this combo line. So, having Stardust Synchron in our hand or milling it, using the revolutions effect it's really it honestly it's really bad but this time you can still activate and go into trishula but i don't like doing that anymore if, if i can't have another tuner because we do need another tuner to get into bestial dispatter bro on the floor if we have to use a crimson dragon in this case we're gonna be forced to use crimson dragon on our bro on the floor activate crimson dragon target the bro on the floor Special summon Beast Shield Dispatter. And last, we activate Stardust Elimination. D 
decrease Stardust Synchron's level by, by, by one, you can hit level three. Still the same. At this point, it's the same combo line. The only difference is we didn't go through Shula. Activate Omega. Activate this batter, get back the Omega, and rip one more card from their hand. If ever that we drew Enchantress, we can activate Enchantress. Get the right of Ramis here. Let's get one in the graveyard. Activate right. I shall summon a token. We can also activate the Wanted. And get a Debel. Activate Rider of Ramis here. Get the Griffin Rider. Throw away our Fenrir. We don't really need our Fenrir anymore. Activate Griffin Rider. Activate Fateful Adventure. Then we get the Draco back. We don't equip it. We just keep it on our hand. So that next turn, if ever they break this board or if ever they still play through and end their turn, we can still go into Draco back play. But since TG Hyper Librarian gave us so many cards in our hand, we could extend in so many ways like this. So instead of just ending with three negates and four cards on your opponent's turn, we have four negates with four cards on your opponent's turn. Two Omni negates and two Monster negate. So that is the Junk Servant line. Alright, so for this combo line, it's purely just Junk Speeder. Let's say, for example, they use Hand Trap to counter the rest of your place or negate it the rest of your place, and your last play is Junk Speeder. That would be no problem at all because if Junk Speeder resolves, it's over. So in this case, of course, we need to get a Junk Speeder in the field. Activate Adventure, Fateful Adventure. We get an Enchantress. Throw away the Enchantress. Activate Enchantress. Get right of Ramis here. Activate right. Special summon. Activate the Bell Star. Throw away the Draco back. Activate the Bell. Chain block with Draco back. Uh, we get Sinful Spoils. This is just Junk Speeder play. Activate Sinful Spoils. This time we're gonna remove the Bell Star. Not gonna go for Axel Synchron. Just. The junk speeder. Sinker summon jet and the right. Get junk speeder. Activate junk speeder. Summon the four tuners. Activate Sarda Synchron. Get the illumination. Using Jet Synchron and Junk Speeder, we synchro summon into Stardust Charge Warrior. You draw one card. Then using Assault Synchron and the Stardust Charge Warrior, we Synchro Summon into Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. And then we get the Jet Synchron in the graveyard. Activate Elimination. I shall summon the trail. Sinker summon into TG Hyper Librarian. Activate Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. And then we go into Crimson Dragon from here. Activate Assault Synchron. Get back our Stardust. Excel Stardust Dragon. No need to activate Trail just yet. So, this is another example of where freestyling comes into play. We haven't committed our normal summon just yet. We still have a lot of plays in our grave. We can go so many routes. So, I think I'm just gonna go for the safest route. For example, you don't get to use any of the cards in your hand. Uh, what we can do here, we activate Stardust Elimination. Make this a level 9. Activate Crimson Dragon. Get into Trish. Shula, activate. Next, we activate Jet Synchron. We throw away whatever. Let's just say, let's throw away the small world. 
Going to burn the floor. So at this point, we can go Crystal Wing here with TG Hyper Librarian and the Revolution Synchro. Then we activate Revolution Synchro, use that and Trishula to make Bestial Dispatter. And then we can normal summon any of our monster, for example, Maxi, normal Maxi, or Joel and Lockwood, or Ash. Activate, start a synchro in the graveyard. There's so many things that we can do, but for now, we're totally gonna ignore all of the cards that we draw in our hand. So let's go to Omega here. Activate Revolution Synchro. Going to B-Seal this batter. And that is still three cards off of your opponent's hand. And do keep in mind that we still haven't committed our normal summon. We still haven't used Stardust Synchron. It's just a really good deck as long as you can freestyle. And there you have it. That is just the Junk Speeder line. All right, so this next combo line is, again, one of the weakest lines we can do with this deck, but it still does come up sometimes. This is actually a combo line that I just freestyled in one of my duels. We need to find a way to special summon a monster in the field. Either it's a Ashtira or even a Wandering Griffin Rider. In this case, we have the Bellstar. So right now, we don't really need Sinful Spoils because we have to commit a normal summon anyways. Activate the Bellstar. Inactivate its effect. The Bait and negate, like the Imperm right there. Doesn't really matter that much. Activate our Sarda Synchron. Activate its effect. Get Illumination. Normal Summon, Droll and Lockbird. That's right, guys. Normal Summon, Droll and Lockbird. This, this actually happened to me in a duel. This is why I did find out about this combo line. From here, we go Junk Speeder, Droll and Lock, Sarda Synchron. Go into Junk Speeder. Next, we Synchro Summon into Stardust Charge Warrior by using Junk Speeder and the Junk Synchro Jet. What the heck? I'm losing the names, bro. Jet Synchron and Junk Speeder. We go into Stardust Charge Warrior. Also activate Sardis Trail. Special summon these two. Special summon back to Excel Stardust Dragon and the Stardust Trail. Next, we activate Jet Synchron in the graveyard. Throw away any card we drew. Using Jet Synchron and the Stardust Trail. Synchro summon into Axel Synchro. Axel Synchron. I'm getting, I'm getting these names mixed up. I'm sorry, guys. Activate Trail. Get a token in the field. Activate Excel Synchron. Throw away our Revolution Synchron. Increase the level. We're going to Croco Dragon. And from here, it depends on what cards you have in your hand. Right now, we don't have any ways to extend. We can just do the safest play. We can activate Revolution Synchro. Special Summon. Going to Baron de Fleur using Croco Dragon. Or actually, what we could have done instead, increase Excel Synchro Stardust into level 9, then use the Revolution to make a Baron de Fleur. But we still have a Croco in the field. That's also a disruption. Activate Crimson Dragon. Target Baron de Fleur. Get her this batter. And from here, using Revolution Synchro and the TG Hyper Librarian, we make our Omega. So that's two hand grip. Please do keep in mind what I said earlier. That is a better play in this case. You use the Stardust Illumination 
to increase Axel's Synchro Stardust Dragon into level 9, use the Revolution Synchro level 1, and make a Bruin de Fleur to still get to keep a Croco Dragon. But either way, it's still gonna end up with two hand drips only. And look at how many cards that we have in our hand right now. We can even have a Griffin in the field, so that's two Omni Negates, plus one Monster Negate, plus one Disruption with Croco Dragon. So that is the freestyle route that I went for when I had Sardis and Grunt and Droll and Lockford, plus one monster that I can special summon. There you have it. So this is not really a combo line, but let's say we play under Droll. We do have Wanted, but usually you want to activate your Wanted during the standby phase so that we don't get Drolled after getting Jabelstar via the effect of Wanted. So what we can do first, activate Jabelstar, throw away our Enchantress, There we go. Of course, we get Sinful Spulls, but we get Imperm. This is a good example. All right, so for example, we got Imperm right here. This is a really good example. We got Imperm there. We activate our Enchantress. We get the right. And this is where we get Droll and Lock. We activate right of Ramis here. Uh, get a Fateful Adventure, though we don't we don't really need it. Special Summon Jet Synchron. I mean, normal Summon Jet Synchron in this case. Normal Summon. You can only equip, by the way, if uh, we're under Droll. So, yeah. So, Synchro Summon Jet Synchron and the Bell Star into Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Activate Axel. there are a couple of things that you can do here you can go for a baron de fleur and bestial dispatter or you can further rip out cards from your opponent's hands by using omega and a dispatter but you're not gonna have an omni negate you're only gonna have a monster negate i think most of the time the best option is to always rip out cards from your opponent's hands because that is the main goal of this deck <laughs> this is a hand loop version of the synchron adventure deck after all so we go to omega using junk speeder and revolution synchron Go into Omega. Activate Omega. Rip one more card. We can go into this Dispatter. Activate this Dispatter. So at this point, he only has two cards left, right? Depending on what you already have in your hand. For example, let's say he doesn't have Max E. We have Ash Blossom and we have Imperm. It's really good to just go for another hand loop. It's up to you to decide what you want to do next. It depends on what deck they have based on the one card that you discarded or you hand loop. But you can also go aggressive. You can go Croco Dragon. We're not going to activate any of the effects because we can't add cards from the deck to our hand. We can activate Revolution Synchro or we can activate Jet Synchro. But in this case, I think it's much more effective to just use Revolution Synchro. Hey, look at that. We drop. We actually. Oh, that is so good. We actually drop a Stardust Trail. So in this scenario, it's really good to just use Revolution Synchro because who knows what you might mill, right? Insane, guys. That's insane. So what we can do here, we go burn the floor. There we go. And that is our end board right here. So he has four cards going into his turn. We have one Monster Negate, one Omni Negate. Imperm and an Ash. So it's still a pretty hard board to break. So yeah, this could be our end board right here. But since the effect of Revolution Synchro built our Stardust Trail, what we can do, we activate this, activate Verone de Fleur, we can destroy a Stardust Synchron, activate Omega. Uh, we can bring back whoever we want. We can bring back Junk Speeder even to make plays during the second turn. You know what? That's a better play. Let's go Junk Speeder. We activate Stardust Synchron. Discard this batter or tribute this batter. Special summon start a synchron. Activate assault synchron. Get back our dispatter. Activate start a trail. Bring back our dispatter. Then, using start a synchron and start a trail, we can go into Omega. And we can hand loop one more. And there you go. Your opponent is going to go into his turn with three cards in hand. And you have one Monster Negate, one Omni Negate, an Ash, an 
infirm or whatever hand traps you might have even a call by the grave is good and for me it's still pretty good considering that we played through draw and lock Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know this is a pretty long video. I do hope that you watched it all the way here to the end because I know for sure that you're gonna learn how to play Synchron Adventure better if you watch this video. But if you already know all of this and uh, I missed out some stuff, please do comment down below your advice or your tips for you and old players alike going into this deck or using this deck. Let the comment section also be a place for learning for those who want to improve or those who want to play better using this deck so don't be shy to comment down below also if you have any further questions that i didn't answer in this video please just comment down below last but not least please don't forget to subscribe to the channel we'll be doing more Yu-Gi-Oh content in the future and other games that i might be interested in playing i'll see you guys in the next video peace